All right. Hey. Somebody thought special of you today. Somebody can see something more than you can see. It's somebody that wanted you to know to never give up. Somebody can see you being something more than you see yourself being. You know, oftentimes people can see more for us than we can see for ourselves, but we don't know or we don't have the faith or or our environment is not conducive enough to allow us to want to stretch, to want to reach out. So I'm saying even though your environment don't allow you to stretch or may even take hold and grab on to you before you can reach the destination that you're trying to go. Or maybe your 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 friends or your peers or everybody else have been, you know, sprouting, growing wings and leaving the nest or or reaching new grounds of um, product productivity or prosperity. And it just seems like you just can't get something to click for you. Well. You're in luck. I would like to tell you that, hey, although that may have been true yesterday, but that does not have to be true tomorrow. You see, although the things that we do today is connected to our tomorrow and who we are today is connected to our yesterday. So what I'm trying to say is, you know, right now is what really matters right now is the thing we have to focus on. You know, what is it that you want? What is it that you desire? You know, have everybody been putting things in your basket? Oh, okay. Let me go back. Say for instance, you're at a supermarket, right? And, and, you know, you go in, and you grab the basket and, and you're pushing it around and everybody you bump into, they throw something in your basket, you know, that you don't need. You know, are you going to go and check out the cash register with all those things that you don't need? No, that's like life. That's like our life. See, people around us have put different things in us. Unaware. We are unaware of all of those things that people have put in us, but no, they're there. So now it's the most important part of your life. You know, somebody can see something for you and I can see it for you as well. So the thing I want to say is don't give up. You know, now it's the time. Today is a new day. This moment is a new moment. Tomorrow is going to be so magnificent. And why? Because there is a God and God is a God of increase. Just think about, um, just think about the trees. Think about grass. Think about the flowers. All those things have to increase in so that we can enjoy its beauty. Who is it that's looking at you, looking to enjoy all of the wonderful things that you have to offer? Somebody believes in you. Somebody is watching you. I know you don't think they're watching you, but they are. Listen, take your mind off of things that you have no control of. You have no control of somebody else getting to that place where you thought you wanted to go before you. You have no control of the things that you did yesterday and you may have fall sh fell short. You have no control of those things, but you do have control of right now. And believe it or not, you do hold tomorrow in your hand today. What do I mean by that? See, just think about seeds. Think about seeds. 
Think about a farmer going around planting seeds, right? He's going around planting apple trees, dropping apple seeds in the ground. Does that farmer expect an apple seed to produce an orange or a lemon? No. See, the farmer expects its apple tree. So where's your apple tree? What type of seeds are you planting? Are you planting seeds of uh, watching TV? watching negativity, watching the news, news. I mean, I have no nothing against news, but sometimes news plant things in you that are not helpful for you. So the point is this, take control of right now. Cause really, if you be honest about it, that's really all we have control of is our right now. The question is, what are you going to do right now? Are you going to continue to travel down the same path? Continue to think the way you've been thinking? Continue to expect things to happen for you um, just by happening for you? No, no. See, we have to want, we have to plant seeds or we have to see things for ourselves. Hey, and if you can't see those things for yourselves, I see those things for you or go around somebody who see those things for you or get someone who can help bring the best out of you. So we often we we don't fertilize ourselves. What I mean by fertilize, you know, we don't uh, 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 put good things in us. Right. So that we can be our strongest. What I mean by good things. Hey. You may be listening to negativity on the radio. I don't know. That's maybe you. That's maybe something that you do. You may be looking at negative negativity on the TV. I don't know. Maybe that's something that you do. So again, again, listen, it's not too late. Somebody think very highly of you. Somebody see something very great for you. Reach out, contact me, um, send me a, a message, um, send me, yeah, leave a comment and let me know where you're at. And um, we might be able to get something started or help you out in some areas or give you some more things like this that's encouraging and who knows what tomorrow may be for you. See, oh. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you about this story. See, this is one day. Sometimes we have to quit something. Sometimes we have to quit our negativity. Sometimes we have to quit something that's not good for us. What I mean, there was this time I had a job. Oh, my goodness. And the, the funny thing is people love to hear this. My friends love to hear this because sometimes who knows? You know, sometimes people may share in your victory. So what I mean by that? Well, I had this job and oh my goodness, this job was so tough. It was so rough. I mean, I, I come in to work and I, I, I and by the time I leave, I'll be dirty from head to toe, back hurting, um, knees. And I was a young man, maybe 20 years old or something like that. Maybe even 19, you know, but it was hard manual labor. So one day I just got fed up. I say, this is not for me. I quit. I am not coming back in here tomorrow. Well, I had a lot of people around me or riding with me to work. And I said, you know what? I'm going to hang in there. I'm going to try one more day. Well, to make a long story short, the next day was the same thing. You see, I, I didn't put nothing different in. So the next day I had the same results and had the same thought. I quit again. Then, hey. I found a way to make it back to work the following day. And that process kept repeating until one day I saw a place in the workplace that I saw that I might enjoy. And what happened? I just started visualizing. I started seeing myself in that job or in that place. And I said, if I was that, what would I do? If I was doing this, what would I do? And I started playing that game. And what happened? Before you know it, I was in that very position. So my question to you is, where do you see yourself? What image do you have for you? 
Is it something that you want? Listen, you have to develop the image that you want. That's the only way things are going to change or be different. All right. That's enough for right now. Hey, listen, you can, you will be blessed two times. Peace.